Alrighty guys, welcome to your 21st MySQL tutorial and in this lesson I'm going to give you guys another more confusing example of a subquery. However, once I show you guys this example it should pound the idea of subqueries through your head so hard that you couldn't forget it if you wanted to. So in this problem what we're going to be solving is we want to find out which seller has the cheapest frogs. So of course we know that if we go over to our items table, there are a bunch of different sellers with a bunch of different frogs, but we want to find the best price on them. So let's go ahead and hop over to where we type in our queries. And in order to solve this problem, again, let's break it into a couple steps. The first thing we need to do is find out which sellers are even selling frogs. And then once we have a list of all the sellers that are selling frogs, we need to figure out the cheapest of those in the list. So again, like I said, the first thing we need to do is get a list of the sellers that are selling frogs. So let's go ahead and select the seller ID, which is basically the seller, from the table items where the name, and remember the name is just the name of the items, is like, and we'll just use that wildcard percent sign, boxes of frogs but you have to spell it correctly that's a key so let's go ahead and search and see what we get up with we ended up with 68 6 and 18 and those are the three sellers who are selling frogs now even though whenever we get our results in MySQL it presents the results as a table with a column 68 6 and 18 but not only is this a table, but this is a list as well. So therefore, you know how I told you that in some functions like concat you use a list and whenever you use the keyword in you use a list. Well, you can also use this entire query right here and it will treat it as a list as well. So basically, whenever we use a list in MySQL, we can just go ahead and plug in this query instead and therefore a query inside another query inception aka subqueries but it's just so much funner to say inception so now let's go ahead and copy this entire query I already have it copied so basically we solved step number one we found out which sellers are selling frogs so hopefully you copy that query so the next thing we need to do is we need to get the cheapest price of frogs out of that list so let me go ahead and do that now so select the name of the item which will be however many boxes of frogs and the minimum cost from items where name and let me see how I can do this where name is like boxes of frogs now we need to include this name because whenever we select the items how can I explain this whenever we select all the items from our list of sellers those sellers may be selling different items too but what we want is we only want the items who are boxes of frogs basically we're only in it for the frogs sorry to sound greedy but you know we only are and seller underscore ID is in now remember I told you guys whenever you use the keyword in in my SQL it takes a list now our list was 68, 6, and 18. Those were the three sellers. So basically we're saying, okay, give me the name of the product and the minimum cost from basically all of the items on our website, but the name has to be like boxes of frogs. So basically they have to be boxes of frogs and the seller has to be one of these sellers. Well, we already know that these sellers are the ones that are selling boxes of frogs, so that should save our query a little bit of time. Now, whenever we hit go, we see that, okay, the cheapest boxes of frogs that we can buy is three boxes of frogs for $30 and basically 50 cents. However, instead of having the type in this list every single time, we need to add a subquery in here because you know what? Whenever our users that are actually using the website are looking for information like we just did, we're not going to be there every single second to monitor what they're doing on the website and whenever they find a list, we can't type it in manually for them. So in order to do something like this, we need to add a subquery as a query in here. So go ahead and copy that query that you have before and remember this is the very first query that we ran this is what returns 68 6 and 18 
So remember from last time, my SQL works from the inside out. So not only whenever, well, I want to mention this. In the last tutorial, it figured out one value, but it could also figure out a list of values as well. So again, the first thing my SQL is going to do whenever it runs a query is it's going to figure out what's in between the parentheses. So it runs this query first, and it gets the result of 68, 6, and 18. So basically, it runs this entire query, but when it gets to this, it's going to treat this query as literally the numerical value 68 6 and 18 so select the name and minimum cost from items where the name of the product is like boxes of frogs and the seller ID is in the list 68 6 and 18 so now let's go ahead and run this and we should get the exact same result so how awesome is that basically you plug in a list how can I say this Take a deep breath. Basically, instead of typing in a list manually, we just plug in another query and it treats it as a list. Simple enough. And I want to mention this. I won't show you guys an example because if I do, you're probably just going to stop watching my tutorials. But we can also run a query within a query within a query. So you know how I put one query inside another query? Well, we could also put another query inside that query and it would be like three layers deep. If you ever watched the movie Inception, you know exactly what I'm talking about. By the way, I really like the movie Inception. I probably should have mentioned that. But I won't show you guys an example of that because if I do, your brains are probably going to explode. And no one really does that anyways. Whenever they're doing complex queries like that, like four or five subqueries deep, it's easier just to use join tables and I'll show you guys that later on. But anyways, I'm going to do you a favor and I'm going to shut up right now and <laughs> I'm going to be done with uh, subqueries for now. In the next tutorial, we're probably going to learn about joining tables. It's going to be awesome. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you understand subqueries and I'll see you in the next lesson.